This begins EE 544 on Tuesday, April 1st, 2014. Everybody, before we start uh, continuing our discussion on power amplifier, let me ask you a question. Did everybody hook up with a partner in the project? Everybody? Everybody? Okay, good. So I don't need to worry about this. Uh, so if, uh, those of you who are, uh, who are going to be listening to the uh, webcast, if you have not had a partner, you need to let me know as soon as possible. Okay, good. Now, let's uh, continue our discussion from last time. We started looking at the power amplifier. We said that this is the major portion of the uh, transmitter, of an RF transmitter, and we classified it into two types. The first one, we call it a current mode power amplifiers, current mode power amplifiers, as we'll see in just a second. The amplifier will operate in the wet, in the saturation region, in the saturation region, and it will act as a wet, as a transconductance block. A transconductance block means what? Constant current mode. And we saw the classes A, B, A, B, and C. And we saw that for all of these classes, the circuit is relatively what? Unchanged. The amplifier is relatively unchanged. What is going to change is the what? Is the point where we are going to bias our what? Our uh, transistor. Clear? The biasing point will be changing. Now, what did we end up with here? We ended up with uh, types of amplifiers which have what? Good linear characteristics. And linearity is, is okay or is good. But the efficiency is what? It's not as good. Now, as the efficiency increases, in other words, as we go from A, let's see if you remember, the theoretical maximum efficiency of A was what? 50%. Was B what what? Certainly 78 or something like that percent. And C is higher than 78. The higher the efficiency becomes, the power amplifier becomes what? Nonlinear. Becomes nonlinear, which means what? It will result in spectral regrowth if the modulation, if the applied modulation was a what? A non-constant envelope. Clear? We will study after we finish from the switching uh, of the power, amp switching power amplifiers. We will study some mechanisms or some circuits that would allow to improve the what? The linearization of the what? Of the high efficiency power amplifier. In other words, can we get both? Can we get a power efficiency, which is pretty good, and linear, which is also what? Which is also pretty good. This is called what? The linearization uh, techniques. We'll talk about it uh, shortly. Clear? Okay. So we went uh, through all of these things, the class A and the class B. Uh, this is the circuit, by the way. This is the circuit for all of them, in a class A or in a class B or in a class C. Now, you notice, by the way, at the output, we have the what? We have the tank circuit. And again, as I told you, the tank circuit is required for classes, what, B and C, but it is not required for class, what, A. Because for class A, we saw that the transistor is going to be conducting all the time, 360 degree. The conduction angle is 360 degree. Clear? What we would have liked, and that's the basic concept of the switching power amplifier, we would like a power amplifier such that when the voltage across the transistor is not zero, I would like the current to be what? Zero. And when the current the time is, is not zero, I would like the voltage to be what? Zero. So that the product of the voltage times the current gives me what? Zero. Which means what? There is no power dissipation. Remember, the DC power minus 
the Arab power delivered to the Lord is the power dissipated in what? In the transistor, as heat. Are you following on? If we can make the what? The voltage and the current non-overlapping. Non-overlapping means what? When the voltage is not zero, I want the current to be zero, and vice versa, we are going to end up with a what? With a power dissipation, a transistor with a power dissipation of what? Equal to zero, which means the efficiency will go to what? Will go uh, very close to 100%. Clear? Okay. So in all of them, we, we saw, we analyzed this, we went through the details, and we derived a general equation for the what? For the efficiency. Make sure, by the way, that general equation, the last equation, which, which calculate you the efficiency, make sure that it's in your 8 by 11. So that in the final exam, I don't want you to go through the what? Through the derivation again. You can use it as is. Clear? But you need to have it with you. Well, we went through this. By the way, I wanted to see something in these diagrams. Do you see overlap between the voltage and the current? How did you see the overlap between the voltage and the current? That results in what? That results in the it's a power dissipation. By the way, worse than of all is what? It's a class A. Because in a class A, the transistor is conducting all the time. In a class C, the transistor is only conducting what? A very small period of time. Clear? A portion, a small portion of the entire cycle. Clear? Now, remember what I said. If the, if, sorry, remember what we said before last time. If the transistor is not conducting, it means the current is equal to what? It's equal to zero. Clear? As I will show you in just a second. No, let me just make sure that you do remember this. What is the maximum voltage at this point? 2 VDD. Why is it 2 VDD? The maximum. It's not VDD because the uh, uh, voltage here is what? It's VDD minus what? L DI of T DT. And if the DI of T, which is the slope, if it is negative, then you do have what? Negative with the positive becomes what? Oops. Negative with the negative becomes what? Positive. So the voltage in here would be what? 2 VDD. Clear? The question that we need to answer is the following. Could it be more than 2 VDD? Could I make this one more than 2 VDD, the fundamental component? The fundamental component. Could it be more than 2 VDD, but keeping this one equal to what? VDD. Of course, if I increase this one, this one will also increase. Do you agree? But increasing this one violates the requirement that we are going into what? Lower power supplies with the new technologies and so on and so forth. Did you get my point or not? What I want is what? Can we make the voltage in here a little bit more than what? 2 VDD. And the answer to that question is yes, we can, provided that this one is a square pulse rather than a what? A sinusoid. If you take the square pulse, a square pulse, from what? Zero to VDD, to VDD, and you expand it in a Fourier series expansion, you will see that the fundamental component will be equal to what? Four VDD over what? Pi. Are you following me or not? Yes or no? Four VDD over pi, is it more than VDD? Yes. It is more than VDD. Do you understand that or not? So if it is from zero to VDD, the maximum you can get is what? Is four VDD over what? Pi, which is a little bit more than what? More than VDD. Clear? We'll get to that in a minute. Are you following me or not? Okay, good. So we calculated the efficiency for a class B. We found it to be what? 70, 78.5%. This one here, by the way, I'll explain to you in, in reference to the switching stuff. But it's basically when you do have a push-pull, what does a push-pull mean? A push-pull means what? means one transistor will be on, the other one will be what? Will be off. I just want to make sure that you do understand this notation here. When you see a transformer which is center tapped, what does it mean? If this is positive, then where is this one here? This one will be the negative part. Did you get my point or not? Which means what? If this one is on, this one will be what? Off. And vice versa in the next cycle. Clear? I'll explain to you when we get to the, to the switch power amplifier in just a second. This is a class C, and you can see that in a class C, the conduction is even what? It's even less than 180 degree, which means the duty cycle is less than what? 50%. You don't understand what a duty cycle means? Okay, good. We went through the discussion and so on and so forth, all of these to class, 
power and the power efficiency. The thing about Class C, what did we find? We find that we found that if we want the efficiency to approach what? 100%, the problem with that, it results in what? The power delivered to the antenna will approach what? Will approach zero, which means what? I'm not uh, de delivering any power to the what? To the load, the load being the antenna in this case. So that is trade-off, improving the efficiency, but at the same time, what? The power will approach what? Will approach zero. Clear? Oh. What we would like is what? We would like an amplifier which has a what? Higher efficiency, but the power does not approach what? Uh, does not approach here. Clear? Does not approach here. These are the problems with the power amplifier. Again, if we, the question is what? Can we increase the output voltage swing? One more time. One more time. If I can find it. What is the output voltage swing? Remember, the output voltage is a what? It's a sine wave. Do we agree? Do we agree why it is a sine wave? Eh? Yes or no? Why? Because this is a tan circuit. All the harmonics will be what? Oh, this one will act as a what? As a short circuit for the harmonics, which means what? Everything will go to the ground. The only thing, this one behaves as a what? As an open circuit at the fundamental. So the fundamental will come in here. What is the maximum? voltage swing at the output. Remember, it's from zero to what? To BDD. Are you following me or not? So the swing, which means what? Peak to peak. Sorry, peak to the biasing point is what? Is VDD. Are you following me or not? Yes? If you use a square, if you use a square, you will end up with what? You will end up, instead of VDD, you will end up with what? 4 VDD over what? Pi, which is a little bit more than what? More than BDD. Did you get my point or not? Which is more than BDD. I will show you that in just a second. So, this is, by the way, this shows you how a sign. Remember, by the way, a square wave. When we say about a square wave with a what? A 50% duty cycle. 50% duty cycle. What do you get? You get only the what? The fundamental and all the what? All odd harmonics. Did you get this or not? All the odd harmonics. The even harmonics will be equal to what? Will be equal to zero. The more harmonics you add together, you will approach what? You will approach a square wave. You will approach a square wave. Clear? And if you look at this diagram, if you look at this diagram, suppose I have what? What am I adding here? What am I adding here? V1 cosine omega naught t plus what? V3 cosine 3 omega naught t. Are you following that? When you add them, what am I getting? I'm getting something like this, the square wave. Add more harmonics, what do you get? Approaches what? Approaches a square. Now, for a square waveform, the fundamental, the fundamental, which is what? This one, V1, will be what? 4 over pi times what? Times the maximum, which means what? It is more than what? It is more than VDD. The swing is more than VDD. Clear? Do you understand what I mean by the swing? Not the peak to peak, half peak to peak, half of it. Yes, in other words, the peak amplitude at the output. The peak amplitude at the output. The output is a sinusoid. The peak amplitude is what? It's half the peak to peak. Clear? But in order to do that, what do I need? I need the voltage at the drain. I need the voltage at the drain of the transistor to be a what? A square wave. I don't want it to be a what? A sinusoid. If you remember from last time when we were sketching the characteristic, always the VDS was a what? A sine wave. A sine wave. I don't want it to be a sine wave. I want it to be what? A square wave. Did you get this or not? Now, if it is a square wave, what does that imply? It implies that the amplifier is acting as a what? As a switch going from what? On to off. Yes? Where is that? Show it to me. Let's look at, see if you can help me here. These are the characteristics, the output characteristics of the, of the transistor. Roughly, roughly. Yes? Where? Where do I want to go? From where to where? I want to go from what? Where, by the way, what are these curves? represent. These are VGS. 
which is the input. Are you following what happened? BGS is a voltage between the gate and the what? And the source. As you move up, it means what? The BGS increases. Yes? What do I want to go? Let's assume this is the load line. Let's assume the, oh, sorry. Where do I want to go? From what point to one point? I want to go from this point where the transistor is what? Of to which point? This point where the transistor is what? Is on which mode? Which mode? That is in the what? Triode mode. And in the triode mode, what is the equivalent? What is the equivalent circuit of what? Of the transistor. How what is it behaving as? It is behaving as an on transistor. As an on transistor. I said on transistor. I'm sorry. As an on resistance. Yes or no? That's, by the way, what is another name for the triode? They call it what? The ohmic region. Ohmic region. Why do they call it ohmic region? Because the transistor is behaving as a what? as a resistor, a very small resistor. What is the ultimate? What is the ultimate? The resistor of what? Resistor of zero, which means what is the voltage? What is the voltage between the drain and the source? Very close to what? Zero. Yes or no? And what do we call this? The transistor is on. The current is at what? Peak. The current? Zero. The voltage is at what? Peak. Did you get my point or not? I want to go from this point to this point without spending too much time where? In the middle. I want to go from what? This point to this point, this point to this point. By the way, answer me the following question first. At the input, do I need the signal, the RF signal, to go what? Uh, to be a little bit what? Uh, the swing to be high or low? The swing at the input, not at the output. The swing at the input. Do I want it to be high or low to be able to go from here to here? I want it to be high. Why? I don't want to go from what? I don't want to go from here to here slowly. In other words, the signal is changing what? Slowly, slow. I want it to be what? To be able also to reach all the way to what? To this value. You are losing me here. The systems guy, circuits, I don't worry about you. The systems guy, are you losing me? Who, how do you go from here to here? By the way, when you move up, are you moving on the load line? There is some hesitation which troubled me. As you move up, do you always move on the load line? You always move on the load line. You follow me on that? But you want to go from here, be able to what? To go in here. All the way to the end. You, can I go just to here? If I go just to here, is the power amplifier acting as a switch? No. Why? Because at this region, which mode is he in? In the saturation mode. I need to be able, the input should be what? Strong enough. Strong enough to what? To push this point all the way till the what? Till the maximum, till the maximum curve that we do have for the VGS. Did you get the point or not? Yes or no? I see you cannot apply an input. If, let's assume this is what the threshold. What is the threshold? Typical threshold, 0.5 volt. Yes? And let's assume this one is what? Is let's say 3 volt. If your input can only go to what? 2 volt. Will it be able to act as a switch? It will not be able to act as a switch. Why? Because you will end up at this point here. Did you get my point or not? Yes or no? Okay, good. So, uh, the input has to have a what? Has to be strong enough to push from point A to point what? To point B without stopping what? Without stopping in between. Did you get, or, or very little in between? Going from here to here. On, off, on, off, on, off. One more time. In the off, what is the current? What is the voltage? Max. On, what is the voltage? Do, by the way, do you see the voltage is zero? Actually, the voltage is what? It's not zero. Do you agree with me or not? This is what we refer to as what? As a VDS sat. That's separation from the triode region to the what? To the saturation region. You agree? 
But this value is relatively what? Small, like 0.5 volt or something like that. You can ignore it. And the current is what? Is max. Clear? Oh, so that will take me to the what? That will take me to the concept of the what? Of, by the way, you notice when you add harmonics, odd harmonics, what are you approaching? If you add odd harmonics, this is the fundamental plus the what? Third plus the what? Fifth. By the way, this is not the third harmonic. What does this mean? When I say this is the first and the what? Third. What is this? The first, third, and the fifth. And eventually, what do you end up with? Square. But if you add the even harmonics, you are not going to get what? You are not going to get square. Did you understand that or not? Yes? No response. Yes? Okay, keep that in mind. Now, no, before we get into this, I need to show you, first of all, the basic concept. So, basic concept. Oh, a switching. Power amplifier. Okay, now, first of all, let's sketch the, the amplifier. Again, we do have a what? The chalk. What is the chalk for? One more time. To provide very low resistance to the what? DC. Yes? So the current here is what? Is DC. But it provides a high resistance to what? AC. AC is not going to go through here. Clear? Okay. Then you are going to what? You are going to have this. And then what? And then the coupling capacitor. Yes? And then some what? Some kind of a tank circuit to the what? To the load. Let's put the load here. Okay. This is RL. This is not, it's not, we are not finished yet. Clear? I want to operate this as a what? As a switch. Let's see if you can help me. I need the power. Now, notice by the way. What do I want the voltage here to be? I want either the voltage or the current. Listen to this. Either the voltage across the what? The transistor. Or the current through the transistor to be a what? A square wave. Are you following me or not? You are losing me here. Are you losing me? You are losing me here. I, I was worried about this. That's, that's when we get to the circuit parts, the head begins to roll. Because the background is not good enough. You have taken it a long time ago. I don't know when, five years ago or whatever. Can we concentrate a little bit? What do I want? Uh, where is the current in the, in the transistor? This is the current in the transistor. And what is the voltage across the transistor? The voltage across the transistor is this. I want either the voltage or the current to be a what? A square wave. Did you get my point or not? Now, if it is a square wave, do I need a tank circuit at the output? If it is a square wave, I don't need a tank circuit? What do you mean I don't need a tank circuit? If this is a square wave, then this one will also be a square wave. I don't want a square wave. I want what in here? I, I want the uh, fundamental. Yes or no? Okay, so this is not the circuit that I'm interested in. I, but, but I, first of all, I want to show you this. What is the equivalent circuit? This is the equivalent circuit. This is how I want it to behave. I want the transistor to behave as a what? As a switch. Either on or what? Off. Now listen to me. If this one on, if this one is on, what is the voltage between the drain and the source? Zero. If it is off, which means what? There is no current coming in here. What is the voltage in here? The voltage in here will be the same as this voltage. Do you understand that or not? Which means, what does the voltage look like? A square wave. Are you following me or not? A square wave. Now, how about where is the current? Where is the current? The current is this current. Notice I did not say it's this current. I said it's this current. Did you get this or not? Now, notice by the way, there is no DC coming in here. Yes? <coughs> yes or no? But is there AC current here? AC coming from the input. 
Are you following me or not? So distinguish between those two, as I will show in just a second. Now, the current. If it is off, what is the current? Zero. Yes? If it is on, which means what? The switch is, is it closed. Is the current maximum? The current is maximum. So the current and the voltage, they look both as what? Square wave. Do we agree? But do they overlap? They don't overlap. In other words, if you want to sketch the waveform, let's see if you can help me. What am I sketching? Tell me what am I sketching here? By the way, do they overlap? In, in other words, if this is zero, what is this? One. If this is max, what is this? Zero. What is the power dissipation? The power dissipation is equal to what? It's equal to zero. Did you get this or not? No response. Yes or no? So the current through the switch and the voltage across the switch are two square waves. Are two square waves. Yes? But they do not what? Overlap. They do not overlap. They No overlap. <coughs> Which means what? It means the power dissipated is equal to what? It's equal to zero. Clear? Good or bad? Uh, good. But what is the assumption am I making? Am I making assumptions here or am I not making assumptions? What is the first assumption, by the way, that I'm making? The first assumption that I'm making, I am assuming that the resistance of the what? Of the switch, when on, is equal to what? Zero. But it's not equal to zero. I am assuming that the voltage across the transistor is equal to zero when what? When on, but in reality, it's what? It's not zero. It's BDS saturation. Yes or no? Cannot hear you. A lot of assumptions we are making that we what? That we just do it there just to see the idea behind it. Clear? Now, I want you now to see this. The two configuration and see if you can help me. The first one. Is the first one, yes? No response. What is this? What is this? That's the switch. That's this switch. In other words, and instead of sketching the transistor like this, I'm sketching it like this. Okay, and the second one, let's sketch it side by side so that you understand the difference between them. You do understand that this one and this one, you can combine it together. You do understand that, right? Yes? When you combine it, do you add them, or it's 1 over C plus 1 over C? It's 1, because capacitor and C. But I'm sketching it separate so that you understand the difference between them. Okay. What is this, by the way? That's a tank circuit. At what? Resonating at what? At omega naught. Yes? Which means what? At omega naught, what do I want this to behave? As an open circuit, at nth harmonic of, nth multiple of what? Omega naught, what do I want it to behave? I want to behave it as a short circuit, so none of them will go to the load. The next one, where is the tank circuit? This is the tank circuit, and then this is the load. Clear so far? Yes or no? Okay, good. Now, and, and this is, again, the L and the R. Now, at resonance, what do I want this to behave? At resonance, what do I want this to behave? I want to behave, so at omega naught, behave as a what? Short circuit. And at n omega naught, 
behave as what? Clear? Now, answer me the following question. What is the difference between the two? What is the difference between the two? Let's take this one first. Let's take this one first. Okay. This is the what? This is the current, which is what? I switch, whatever you want to call it, ID. And this is the voltage. VDS. Do we agree? Do not look at this. Do we agree that both of them are square waves? Both of them are square waves. Do we agree? They are both square waves. Now, this one does not pass the what? The DC current. Okay. This is a tank circuit. At the harmonics, what is it behaving as? Short circuit. At the fundamental, what is it behaving as? Open circuit. Now, if this is open circuit, what does it mean? It means all the current will come where? In here. Did you understand what I just said or not? Yes or no? Tell me. Tell me. What does the current look like here? The current IL. What does it look like? Sinusoid. Yes? Whereas the voltage is still what? Square. Did you understand what I just said or not? Yes or no? Okay. No, I am not sure. So let's call this one figure one. And let's call this one figure two. Okay, in figure one. The, okay, see, see, le, le, let me try one more time. Let me try one more time to explain this one to you. I want you to see the follow. Listen to me. Do we agree that and the nth harmonic, this is open circuit? Uh, so I said open circuit. Uh, this is a short circuit. Okay. Which means what? None of the harmonics will come in here. Yes? This will be only what? The fundamental. Yes? This one is blocking the DC. Yes? As far as the fundamental is concerned. As far as the fundamental is concerned. Is this voltage the same as this voltage? This is the same voltage as this one. Okay. Which means what? What does this one look like? The voltage. You are not listening to me. Concentrate. Concentrate. A little bit concentration. Okay. This is the ID here. The ID here. Yes? Okay. What does the ID look like? When this switch, close open, close open. So the ID will look like what? The current is What is this? What is this here? This is the what? This is the current ID. And what is this? On. And this one is what? Off. Clear? I want you now to tell me about the voltage. Listen to this. This, all the harmonics in here will what? All the end harmonic will come in here. Yes? The fundamental. I just want you to tell me about the fundamental. The fundamental at this point, is it the same as the fundamental at this point? Yes or no? Why? Why? This one is not going to pass any what? Any DC. Do you understand that or not? Is it not going to pass any DC? Yes? Okay, so the voltage in here, the voltage in here will be the same as what? The voltage in here. Did you get this or not? As far as what is concerned? As far as what's concerned? As far as the fundamental is concerned? Did you get this or not? I, I, I'm, I'm not sure you get my point. Let me sketch it so that you understand what I'm talking about. So this is the what current? This is the voltage across the what? Across the S. How does it look like? Clear? This is not a sketch to scale. But do you see my point or not? Which one? One more time. 
all the harmonics will go where? See, what I'm trying to tell you is the following. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Is that in here, the, uh, the, either the voltage, the voltage across the R, before we get to this. Can you explain this one to me? What will happen? Can you explain this one to me? What is going to happen? The harmonics will be what? What does the harmonics here will be? Uh, the uh, harmonics will behave as a what? As an open circuit. Which means what? If this is open circuit, what is the voltage here? The voltage here is a what? Is a square wave. Do you agree with me or not? Why? Because this is an open circuit. Clear? And the voltage in here is either what? On or off? Yes? Okay. Now, what about the current? The current through this switch. The current through this switch. Now, remember, the current through this switch is when this one is what? Closed. Yes? Where is this current coming from? I'm not talking about what? The DC current. I'm talking about the AC current. You are losing me here. Where is the AC current coming from? It's coming from what? From the load. You follow me or not? Now, this one is going to cut all the what? Harmonics. Did you get my point or not? So what do you see? What kind of current do you see here? Uh, you get a side wave. Do you understand or not? In here, which one is the square wave? The voltage. Which one is the side wave? The current. So in here, in figure two, VDC, VDS, sorry, VDS is a square wave, whereas ID is a what? Time sort. You no, know, you are still not. You are still not. Did you get it? Uh, you are still struggling. Back again. Before we get to this, I think this one is easier to visualize. C can we concentrate a little bit? I don't want to be get back down here. I need to go to the classes, different classes. Concentrate. Is this a tank circuit? Okay. At n omega naught, at the harmonics, what is this behaving as? Open circuit. If this is an open circuit, what is the voltage at this point? The voltage at this point, when the switch is open, when the switch is open, the voltage at this point is what? It's, it's, it's VDD. Are you following me or not? When the switch is closed, what is the voltage here? Zero. Do we agree? Okay, good. Now, what is the current? Let's understand what is the current. What is the current is the following. Add the fundamental. What is this one behaving? Short circuit. Yes? This is just to block the DC. The AC current, where is it come? The, when the switch, when I close the switch, where is the current through the switch? When I'm closing it, the current is coming what? This way. Are you following me or not? This way. By the way, when this is, the switch is open, where is the current coming from? No current, which means on the load there is no current. Do the load. I am to argue okay, the switch is open. When the switch is open, the current in here is equal to what? Is equal to zero. But the voltage is not equal to zero. It's the voltage sinusoid. Is the voltage here, this one here, the voltage is square. Is the voltage square in here? Okay, but is the current square? Why? And this is, you are not getting this. Why is the current not square? I want you to see this. Is this a short circuit? As a fundamental. As a fundamental. Which means what? What is the current that goes through the switch? Yes or no? Is it fundamental? It is fundamental. Are you following or not? It is fundamental. Why? Because this one will not allow what? will not allow any unharmonic to what to go through. It's going to behave as a short circuit. Yes? How about this one? I have the fundamental. What is this one behaving as? Open circuit. This one is just a blocking of a DC. Yes? Which means what? As far as AC is concerned, does this one play a role? 
Yes or no? Yes or no? What is the voltage at this and the voltage at this? Are they the same? The voltage in here and the voltage in here, are they the same? Add the harmonics, add the harmonics, not the fundamental. Uh, I, I said, I'm sorry, add the fundamental, not the harmonics. Are they the same? Why? Because this one is behaving as a what? As an open circuit, at the fundamental. Yes? So this voltage and this voltage are what? Are the same. But this voltage here is what? Is a sinusoid. You agree? Which means what? This voltage must also be a what? A sinusoid. Yes? So in figure one, in figure one, in figure two, in figure one, which one? The current is what? Square. But the voltage is what? Is what? Sinusoid. Agree? Because of what? Clear? Clear? What do they call it? They call it a current switch. Why a current switch? Because the current is still a what? Square wave. Are you following me or not? Okay, I'm not clear. Uh, I'm not sure, not clear. I'm not sure you do understand what current am I talking about. Can you tell me what current am I talking about when I say the current? What current am I talking about? A current through the what ID, not to the load. I'm not talking about the load current. I'm talking about what? The current through the switch. When it is on, and then when it is wet, off. When it is on, the current is not zero. Yes? When it is on, as I said it backwards, I'm sorry. When it is off, the current is what? Zero. When it is on, the current is what? Maximum. Yes? That's this one, the current. Yes or no? Okay. But the voltage, when I say the voltage is a sinusoid, which voltage am I talking about? Which voltage? Both this voltage and what? That voltage. Why? Because they are equal at the fundamental, at the fundamental, at the harmonics. This one is behaving as a what? A short circuit. There is no voltage going to the RL. Did you get my point or not? Why do they call it a current switch? A current switch because the current is still what? A square wave. Yes? Yes or no? Okay. But does this one resemble this one? You see this one? This one is total what? Overlap. In here, is there some region in which there is overlap? There is overlap because we are dealing with what? We are dealing with a sinusoid. Yes or no? Oh, how about this? Tell me. Sorry. How about this one? How about this one? Which one is a sinusoid? Which one is a, is a square? And one more time, for this one, where is it? Where did I write it? Here, in figure one, this figure one, the current is square, but the voltage is what? Sinusoid. How about this one? Figure two. Again, let's, let's look at it. If this one is what? Add the harmonics, what is this one behaving as? Add the harmonics, add the harmonics. Behaving as a what? Open circuit. It, will this voltage be square? That voltage will be square. This is an open circuit. Agree? Yes? Okay. So is the voltage square? The voltage square. How about the current? Tell me. What is this one behaving as? What is this one behaving as? At fundamental. At the fundamental. Short circuit. This one is just to block the what? DC. But as far as the AC, it does not do anything. Did you get this or not? Which means what? What is the current through the load? The current through the load, which is what? Sinusoidal. Yes? Will be the same as the current through the what? Switch. Which means the current will be what? Sinusoidal. Are you following me or not? So in figure two, in figure two, VDS is what? Square wave, whereas the current is what? Sinusoidal. And what do I call it? Clear, got it. 
took us too long for this. It is unacceptable. It's straightforward. Yes. Yeah, figure two. If the time circuit is off the harmonic and the switch is off the what the current would be behaving Say that again slowly. You went too fast. When the switch is off? Yeah, the switch is off and the current circuit is off. Then. What the current would be when the, when the tank is open, which means what? It means at the harmonics. Yeah. There is no current in here. Where is the current coming from? The current is equal to zero. But the fundamental will not be equal to zero, even though this one is what? Open. Because there is an input current. This voltage is not equal to zero. If this one is open, listen to me. If this one is open, does, is the current through the switch equal to zero? The current through the switch is equal to zero, but that does not mean the current through the load equal to zero. My, the tank is going to be closed as fundamental. At the harmonics, what do I care about it? At the harmonics, I don't want it to deliver to the load. I'm talking about the fundamental. At the fundamental, the switch is open. Listen to me. The switch is open. Yes? At the fundamental, what is this one behaving as? A short circuit. Yes? Will there be current through the RL? Why? Why there is a current? Because this voltage is not equal to zero. This voltage is a what? Is a swing. Yes or no? Around the what? Around the bias. Yes or no? I say the, there is a current in here, but the current through the switch is not zero. Clear? So as far as the switch is concerned, the switch in figure two, the VDS is a what? Square wave. But the current is what? The current is a sinusoid. Are you following me or not? Because this one here is what? It's going to come this way. Clear? Okay, good. Now, let's see if you can, uh, if you can, uh, if you can help me with the, with the different classes. Did you understand the concept? Okay. Let's see. You don't need to write anything. Uh, just follow the, uh, just follow the thing that I did in my office. Okay. Let's see if you can help me here. This is a class D. So the classes we have what? D, E, and what? F. Clear? D, E, and F. Your least favorite grades. D, E, and F. There is no E. I don't know why. Okay. Let's see if you can help me here. Okay. What do we have here? Class D switching power amplifier. What do you notice? We notice that we do have a pair of what? Transistors. You notice, by the way, this, this transformer? This transformer means what? Look at the dot. This is a dot here, and there is a dot in here. What does that mean? It means when this one is on, this one is what? Off, and vice versa. Clear? You can either use this, or actually, you can use a complementary MOS. Complementary MOS means what? A CMOS. But when you use a CMOS, keep in mind, the lower one will be what? An NMOS. The upper one will be to be a what? A PMOS. Does it ring a bell or no bell? CMOS. What does the C stand for? Complementary. One of them is an NMOS. The other one is a what? PMOS. By the way, it doesn't matter which one is which. You can take the upper one as an NMOS, the lower one as PMOS, or vice versa. Clear? Okay. Let's do it this way here, at least at the beginning. This one now is a what? This one now is a what? Both of them are NMOS. But keep in mind, the two transistors are what? On or off what? Alternately. Now, I want you to concentrate on M2. First of all, do you understand what these currents are? I1 and I2. What are they? I1 is ID1, which is the drain. Remember, the gate does not have any current. Did you get this or not? Or we can ignore the gate and the current. Yes? So the I1 is the what? ID1. And the I2 is the what? ID2. Yes or no? We are talking about what? We are talking about the DC here. Clear? Okay. And then we do have the what? The tank circuit. And this is the load, and this is IF. Yes? What is the tank circuit is used for? One more time. It's used to filter out all the what? All the harmonics. Let's see if you can help. So at omega naught, what, by the way, what is the equivalent circuit? The equivalent circuit is this. This is I1. When, when the switch is in here, the current will come what? Here, the AC current. AC current, because this voltage is not going to be equal to zero. Yes? What about when this one is at this point? Where the current goes? This way. Did you get this one? No. So when it is here, it will go that way. When it is here, it will go what? This way. Clear? Clear? 
One more time. Where is the current that is coming this way coming from? Is it going to come from the power supply? It's not going to come from the power supply. Power supply is a DC thing. If the voltage in here is a what? It's around what? It's around the biasing ball. Are you following or not? The swing. That swing is the RF came from the input. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. Now, above is a what? What did we call it? A, a voltage switch. Are you following me or not? We called it a voltage switch. Why? Because the voltage, what did we, where is it? Did we mess up? That's a voltage switch in figure two. Did you get this or not? Cannot hear you. Oh, let's see if you can help me. Above is a voltage switch. Could use a parallel tank and instead of this, can we use a parallel tank? And then we call it a what? Current switch. Like explain to you in just a second. Now, I want you first of all to define a function. Which is, what is it? S of theta. S stands for what? Switch. I want you to think about this as a periodic pulse, bipolar. Bipolar means what? Plus or minus one. Yes? With 50% duty cycle. Yes? So it's what? S of theta is equal to 1 or what? Minus 1. 50% duty cycle. Clear? I want you to explain to me this equation. V2, which is the volt? Where is V2? V2 is the voltage in here. Yes? What is it equal to? It is equal to VDD times what? 1 half plus 1 half S of theta. Why? Listen to me. S of theta is equal to what? Plus or minus 1. If this is equal to minus 1, what is this equal to? What does that tell you about this switch? This switch is what? This switch is on what? It's on this port, which means the voltage is equal to what? Zero. Yes? Okay. If this switch, sorry, if S of theta equal to what? 1. Yes? What does that tell you? The voltage across the, the lower transistor. Where is the switch, by the way? The switch is up at this point. Yes? What is the value? What is the voltage across this? What is the voltage across this? It's VDD. Yes or no? Cannot hear you. It's VDD. So it's what? VDD, one half or plus one half, S of theta. Now, what is the Fourier series of S of theta? The Fourier series of S of theta is what? Four over pi, by the way, you notice only the what? Only odd harmonics, including the fundamental. Yes? Why? Because the signal is bipolar, pulse, a square wave, bipolar with a what? 50% duty cycle. Will there be a DC? It's 50% it's duty cycle. There is no DC. How does it look like? Hey, 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 how does it look like this? Yes or no? Is, is there a DC? Do we get second harmonic? Sorry, do we get even harmonics? Only odd harmonics, which is this. So what is the VDD? What is the VDD? You notice, by the way, the fundamental? The fundamental is greater than what? One. Yes or no? Keep that in mind. That's the whole idea. What is V2? What is the V2? The voltage at this point. At this point. Yes? What is V2? Help me. V2 equal to what? VDD, yes, times what? One half plus one half this. Yes? Now, listen to me. Will this one, what is V2 one more time? What is V2? V2 is the voltage at this point. Yes? Will the DC be blocked by the capacitor? So I don't get this term. Yes? Will all of these be filtered out? Yes or no? Where, where is the voltage? Oh, sorry. What is the term that goes by? So what is VL? What is VL? The voltage across this resistor. What is it? It's 2 over pi VDD times sine theta. You are losing me? 
Did you understand where this came from? This is this term. This times this. Is this a sinusoid? That's a sinusoid. Are you following me or not? By the way, the theta is what? Omega naught t. I just represented by theta to make things simple. Yes? Okay, so it's what? 2 V D D over pi sine theta. What is the current? What is the current through this R? What is the current? It's what? It's 2 V D D over what? Pi R L sine theta. Did you answer what I did? I just divided by what? By R L, the load. What is the power delivered? By the way, this is the current. This is the current. I want you to see this and see if you understood it. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I got, comp I got uh, distracted a little bit. Can you explain to me this statement? This is the current. When this one is off, when this one is off, what is the current that goes through this switch? And when this one is off, means what? Open circuit. This one is open circuit. Where is the current going to go to? This way. Which current? This current. Do you agree? Yes or no? When this one is off, what is the current through this? Is the current? Is this one? Yes? Is it the same current? But it's in a different what? Direction. direction. In a different period. Yes? No response. Yes. Okay, good. So, now, let's see if you can help me. <clears throat> what is the R of power? What is the R of power delivered to the load? What is the R of power delivered to the load? Let's see if you can help me. Where the one half came from? RMS. That's the RMS. The voltage divided by square root of 2, current divided by square root of 2. So it's what? One half V L I L. What is the V L? Two V D D over pi. No sine theta. Why? Because I'm taking the peak. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Uh, times what? Two V D D over pi R L. Times what? One half. So what do I get? Two over pi square V D D square over R L. Clear this equation. No response. Yes or no? Okay. Good. Now. I will show you the waveform in just a second. Actually, this is a good time before we get to the DC power. I want you to tell me the voltage. Look at the voltage. I am looking at the voltage across what? V2. Yes? What is the voltage across V2? V2 means what? The second transistor. It's either on or what? Sorry, I, I, I uh, wrong uh, uh, finger. It's either what? On when the switch... When the transistor, the lower transistor, is on, the voltage is what? Zero. Zero. Why? Because I'm assuming that the resistor here is what? It's so small. When it is what? Off, the voltage is what? VDD. So I have this. Did you understand this? Uh, he explained this one to me. What is this? This is the voltage where? Where? Across the load. Yes? Why is it sinusoid? It is sinusoid because what? Because all the what? All the harmonics will not pass through. Agree? Why is there no DC? Because the capacitor is going to block it. Agree? Yes? Now explain to me, where did this come from? 2 VDD over what? Over pi. This 2 VDD over pi is this one. Did you get my point or not? Yes or no? Now, this current is going to be going through what? I1. Yes? During this, is going to go through who? I2. Notice, by the way, this one is negative, but because the current is in the what? Opposite direction, becomes what? This one. Yes or no? Do they overlap? You are losing me here? You are losing me here. Did you understand why the current in I1 is like this? Why? Because when the transistor, when this transistor is open, the current will come what? This way. Yes? But this one is open only what? 50% of the time. Did you get this or not? Yes. Similar to this. And when this one is what? Open, the current will come what? That way. 
Did you get the currents? Yes or no? Let's see if you can help me. What is the DC power? Tell me what is the DC power. First of all, what is the DC power means? Remember, this one is either what? On or what? Off. Now, you do understand that one of them is off. There is no what? There is no uh, it's, it's dissipation. Did you get this or not? Okay. Now, what is the DC power? Uh, sorry, what is the, to calculate the DC power, what do I need to calculate? I need to calculate the DC current. Yes or no? Yes. What is the DC current? Uh, uh, by the way, I'm not talking about the DC current here. The DC current here is how much? Zero. I'm talking about the DC current in either of the transistors. Yes? Now, what is the voltage? Uh, sorry, what is the current in any transistor? It is half? Is it periodic? Yes. I need to find what? I need to find the average value of this. Did you get my point or not? Yes. What is the average value of this? Is the peak divided by what? Pi. Did we do this at the beginning of the semester, the four-year series? If you do have a sine wave, uh, sorry, not a sine wave, half sine wave, half. Yes? Half rectified. Is it periodic? It is periodic. Is the DC equal to zero or not zero? How do we get the DC? I need to what? I need to expand this in a four-year series expansion. When you do expand it in a four-year series, what do you end up with? You end up with what? The DC value is the what? Is the peak divided by what? Pi. That's what I did. The peak is how much? 2VDD over pi RL times what? 1 over what? Pi. Agree? That's the DC current. What is the DC voltage? And by the way, this is what? 2VDD over what? Pi square RL. What is the DC power then? The DC power is what? Is VDD times what? IDC. Agree? Yes or no? Okay. By the way, is this IDC, is it the same for the other transistor? It is the same for the other transistor because it's the same what? It's the same current from the load. Agree? Did you understand this statement? One more time. This is a current that flows in M1 and M2. Did you get this? It's the same thing. Clear? So, but each one of them is only what? 50% of the time. Yes? So in other words, multiply both of them, multiply by what? One half, and then a plus the same value times what? One half, you get the whole thing, which is what? Two over pi square, BD, why is it VDD square? That's because it's VDD divided by R. I want you to see this, and I want you to see this. What is this? This is the power delivered to who? To the load, and this is the power drawn from the who? from the power supply. Are they equal? That represents an efficiency of how much? 100%. Did you get it or not? No response. Did you get it or not? Oh, now, this is only theoretical. Why is it only theoretical? Let's see. What are the anomalies? Is the switch ideal? The switch is not ideal. Is when the switch is on, the transistor in the, oh, sorry. The transistor in a which mode in the triode region, which means RON, does not equal to what? Zero. Are we going to experience some losses? We are going to experience some losses. Did you understand what I just said or not? So there will be loss. Non-ideal filtering of the harmonics. Is this ideal? The tank circuit, is it ideal? It's not ideal. By the way, it is a what? A short circuit at omega naught, but at all other omegas, they cannot be, it cannot be what open for all of them. Do you agree? So it's not ideal. The saturation, which is the drain to the source voltage, is not equal to what? Zero. Yes? No response. Yes? Okay. The finite switching speed, what is this all about? Going from what? The on to the off. Is that finite? Uh, sorry, is that uh, done in zero second? It's not done in zero seconds. The you still need to, what, to go through the saturation. And during saturation, you are going to have some what? Power losses. Clear? Clear? Okay. What is the normalized power factor? 
Did we talk about this last time? That's another factor. In addition to the what? Into the efficiency. Normalized power factor. What did we define it? The R of power delivered to the load times what? V max, I D max. Where is the V? When I say V max, I D max, where? Across the what? Across the load. The V max, D D max. What is this? It's 2 over pi square times what? V D D square over what? R L. This is what we just derived. Tell me where this is coming from. V max and I D max. Where is this coming from? It's V D D. What is I D max? What is I D max? Where is the current? What is I D max? It's 2 V D D times what? It's already divided by what? Pi R L. Which is what? 2 V D D divided by pi R L. What do you end up with? 1 over pi, which is what? 0 0.32. How much was it in a class A? If you remember, doubtful. Let's see if you remember. 0.125, which is what? Oh, it's written here. It's written here. Hey, you are cheating. Compare it with what? 0.125 for class power AA power amplifier. Clear? So it's much improvement. Clear? Oh, now, let's jump, skip E. We'll talk about E next time. This one is more interesting. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Which is what? I admit this is very interesting. Let's see if you can tell me why it is so interesting. This is class F power amplifier. Class F power amplifier. First of all, I want you to see the diagram. Do you see any transformer? In here, do we have a transformer? Do we have a transformer? Here we what? We eliminate the need for a what? For a transformer. We eliminate the need for a transformer. Of course, we also eliminated what? We also eliminated the need for what? Uh, for the, for two transistors. Clear? We can only need what? One transistor. I want you to understand what is this all about. Clear? Okay. I want you to see the load. This is a tank circuit. What do I want here? Notice, by the way, we are not switching here. We are not switching here. Keep that in mind. We are not switching here. Clear? And you don't see what? You don't see two transistors, one switch off, one switch on. I want you to see what is happening here. What is the, uh, the, uh, the load? This is RL. Yes? Okay. What is this? This is a tank circuit. At omega naught, what is it behaving as? As an open circuit. Yes? Which means what? This is a what? This is a pi over 4 transmission line. What did we call it? A quarter wavelength. Now, which is very doubtful, you remember. Very doubtful. Do you remember the quarter wavelength? What is it? Z in, the input impedance, looking into the transmission line, equal to what? Z naught square, where Z naught is the characteristic impedance of this one. Notice, by the way, the characteristic impedance of this one is matched to the what? To the load. Which means what? There is no reflection on the low side. Clear? Do you remember this equation? Yes. What does that tell you? When I say Z in equal to Z naught square over ZL, it tells you whatever the ZL is, if the ZL, for example, is inductor, this one will be what? Capacitive. If this is capacitive, this one will be what? Inductive. Why? Because Z naught is what? Is real. Yes? What if it was what? In here, add the harmonics. Add the harmonics. What is this voltage? What is this behaving as? Short circuit. Which means what? It means the combination of this and the load is a what? Short circuit. Yes? Now, for the odd harmonics, for the odd harmonics, what is this behaving as? If this is a what? A short circuit. What is this one is behaving as? As an open circuit. Do you understand that or not? In other words, the impedance looking. Before you answer me if this one is a short circuit. At resonance. At resonance. What is this one behaving as? At resonance. As an open circuit. Which means what is the load? RL. Which means what is the input impedance looking into the transmission line, which is RL, which means as if the transmission line is what? 
It's not there. Uh, you are losing me here. Let's say, have mercy on me. One more time. At the fundamental. What is this behaving as? At the fundamental. It's behaving as a what? As an open circuit. What is the load? RL. RL in parallel with what? Open is what? Is RL. Yes? So this RL. What is this? A quarter of a wavelength transmission line. Which means what is the input impedance here? Input impedance. Looking into the line. It's RL. Which means what? As if you don't have this. Do you understand that or not? So as if you do have what RL here. Clear? Clear? Will the fundamental here be the same as the one in RL on, on, the, on, the, on the R? Why? Why? Because the capacitor is going to what? It's only going to block DC. It has nothing to do with AC. Agree? Now, I want you to see the crucial thing. Listen to me. What do I want this value to be? I want it to be a square wave. You agree? Which means what? I want to put in addition to the what? In addition to the fundamental, is the fundamental going to be here? I want to add to it what? Harmonics. Added by who? By the way you constructed the load. Not by operating in what? In a switching mode on and off, on and off. Not sure. Okay, what is the odd harmonic? Odd harmonic, what is this one behaving as? A, a short circuit. What is the equivalent? A short with RL. What is the equivalent? Short. The transmission line is a what? Quarter wavelength. Yes? By the way, does it have to be quarter wavelength? Could it be odd multiples of a quarter wavelength? Odd multiples. If this is open, uh, sorry, if this is short and this is quarter of a wavelength, what is this one here? Open. Which means what? All the odd harmonics are going to remain there are not going to go anywhere. Did you get my point or not? The odd harmonics are going to remain there. Yes? Now, even harmonics. What is this one behaving as? It's still a what? A short. You agree? Short. With RL? Short. Yes? But now we do have what? Even harmonics. Yes or no? In an even harmonic, what is the length of the wavelength becomes? The length of the transmission line at even harmonics. The, the transmission line behave as a what? As a lambda by what? Two rather than what? Lambda by four. What is the lambda equal to? C over what? F. If F is what? Second harmonic, fourth harmonic, the, land, the length as if lambda you are going to multiply by what? By 2. Agree? What was the length? Lambda over 4. You multiply by 2, you get what? But if it is lambda over 2, what does it mean? It means whatever the impedance in here will be where? In here. It lambda over 2. Lambda over 2 does not change the what? Does not change the load. Agree? Which means what do I see? A short in here, what does it look like here? Which means what? All the nth harmonics, sorry, all the even harmonics will go to where? To the ground. They are not going to remain here. <laughs> did you lose me? Do I need to go over it again or did you get it? No, you didn't get it. One more time. Uh, I, I don't lose hope very easily. But I want to show you another one. Uh, concentrate. Concentrate, please. What is this? This is at lambda over 4. Yes? Lambda equal to what? C over F. At fundamental. What do I want? I want this point to have what? The fundamental and all the what? Harmonics. Keep that in mind. At the fundamental. What is this? Open. What is the load? RL. What is the input impedance based on this equation? It's what? RL square over what? RL. So you get what? RL. Which means what? As if I don't have the transmission line. I just have a capacitor and then what? The load. Yes? Will the fundamental be the same at both points? Why? Because the capacitor does not do anything to the AC. 
Yes, it blocks the DC, but to the AC, it's what? It's behaving as a short circuit. Agree? So, do we agree the fundamental is here? Oh, third, odd harmonics. What is Professor, this behaving as? Professor, odd harmonics. Odd. Yeah, odd. What is this behaving as? Short. Short with RL in parallel. Short. Quarter of a wavelength. If the L, huh? If this is short, what will this one be? Open. Are you following me or not? Open, what does it mean when I say open? It means this is like this, open. Will the harmonics remain here? Is it going anywhere? It's not going anywhere. Why? Because it's an open circuit. Did you get this or not? So at this point, all the odd harmonics remain there. Agree? Okay, even harmonics. What is this one behaving as? Still short. This one is short for any what? For any harmonics. But for even harmonics, this one is going to behave as a what? Lambda by two rather than what? Lambda by four. Because the frequency has what? Doubled or what? Quadrupled or sextupled, whatever it is you say. It. Did you get my point or not? So the wavelength will be, the transmission line will behave as a what? As a half wavelength. And if it is a half wavelength, the input impedance the input impedance is the same as what? The load. What was the load? Short. Short, which means zero, which means the input impedance is what? Short, which means what? All of these even harmonics will go to what? Will go to the ground. It's no longer at this point. Did you get my point or not? So what do I end up with here? You, all the odd harmonics and the what? The fundamental. Clear? No response. Clear? Okay. So since the, say this is all I explained it to you, this is all I explained to you. Okay, now let's look at here. All even harmonics, the short at the load, remain short at the drain, since the line becomes what? Land over two. So the drain voltage consists of only the fundamental and the what? Odd harmonics. What does it look like? It looks like a square wave with a what? With a 50% duty cycle. Yes? No response. Yes? Okay. Oh, by, by the way, the voltage remain what? square wave, which means what kind of a switch is it? It is a what? It's a voltage switch. Did you get this or not? It's a voltage switch. Why? Because the voltage remains square. Okay. The drain current appear only at what? Fundamentals and what? Even harmonics. Can you tell me why? The drain current only at the fundamental and the what? Even harmonics. Why? This is because the circuit, the other one will be what? Will be open circuit. There's no current in there. Did you get my point or not? Okay, so what do I have? Let's see if you can help me. What is this? VDS. Yes? Explain to me why is this one to VDD? Can you explain to me why is this one to VDD? Zero to VDD. What is the voltage here? The maximum. Maximum voltage to VDD. Why? Because it's VDD minus what? LDI by DT. Yes or no? Okay, so it's what? To VDD. Yes? Okay, and what? Zero during the what? During this time when this one is what? Is zero voltage. Yes? Yes or no? Okay. And the current ID? Why is it like this? Why is it like this? Remember, it's behaving as a switch. Yes? So half the time the switch is what? When, when the switch is what? Closed, there is current. When the switch is what? Open, there is no what? There is no current. Yes or no? Yes. Cannot hear you. Did we see, by the way, this a moment ago? This one. Let me show it to you. Only what? Even harmonics, along with the fundamental. Adding even harmonics, you will end up with like this. Adding odd harmonics, you will end up like this. That's the voltage. This is the current. Now, what is the, what is the, uh, the, what, why is this one like this? VL. Why is it like this? Sine wave. Because of the what? Of the tank circuit. Yes or no? The fundamental. This is VL. at the fundamental. Yes? Yes? Where did this come from? 4 VDD over pi. Where did this come from? 4 VDD over pi. Why is it 4? 
This one was what? 2-VDD. Yes? If it was VDD, what did we found? It was what? Now it is what? 2-VDD. Yes? So it's what? 4-VDD over what? Five. Now let's look at the fundamental first. What is the fundamental? What is the fundamental load? Why did I say it's VDD or VDD over pi? Where did this come from? Professor? Yes? You're out of time. Uh, okay. Can you see this? Okay, we'll continue next time. We, we got stuck. Today we got stuck. We'll continue next time. Conclusion of EE 544, Tuesday, April 1st, 2014. Have a nice day.